while setting up an online store, one of the first steps that you need to take is to add products to your store. In this video, we will discuss how to add products to your WooCommerce store. But before we get on with the explanation, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so that you don't miss out on great content on WordPress and WooCommerce. WooCommerce offers different product types such as simple, group, virtual, downloadable, affiliate and variable products. In addition, with the help of plugins, you can create unique product types such as subscriptions, bookings, memberships, etc. You can find more details on different product types from our article link in the description. Now, let us focus on how to create a simple product on your WooCommerce store. When you navigate to products through your WordPress admin panel, you will see this screen. There is an option to import products in bulk, but in this video, we will look into the process of manually adding a product to WooCommerce. Click the create product button to start. You will see the familiar WordPress interface. Start by adding a product name, followed by a description. Scroll down to the product data meta box, where you add all the essential data associated with your products. First, choose the product type. Then add the regular price of the product. If needed, you can also add a sale price. The sale price can be scheduled to be applied only during a specific time. Also, specify the tax status and tax class. Next, move to the inventory section. Here you can add the SKU for your product. SKU is a unique identifier associated with the product. You can enable stock management by ticking the checkbox. When you enable stock management, new fields will be displayed to specify stock information. Specify how much stock is available for the product. Also decide if you want to allow back orders on your store. Here, you can also set a low stock threshold. When the stock level reaches this value, the store admin will get a notification to restock. Enable the next option, if you want to limit this product to only one per order. In the shipping section, you can add the weight and dimensions of the product. This is important if you want to integrate services of external shipping carriers. You can also add the product to a particular shipping class here. To know more about shipping classes, check the article link in the description. In the link products section, you can specify products for upsells and cross sells. Attributes section is where you can add global attributes to products if you already have them in your store. Here, you can also create custom product attributes that will be available specific to this product. You can find more information on product attributes with the link given in the description. In the advanced section, you can add a purchase note to customers, which will help you leave any important information that the customer needs to know after buying the product. You can specify a custom ordering position for the product in the next settings. Here you can also enable reviews for the product, so that customers will be able to leave reviews. The next field is for short description. The text you enter here will be displayed on the shop page next to the product thumbnail. Next, you can choose a suitable category for the product. Either choose from the existing categories, or create a new one. Similarly, you can add tags as well. Next section is for images. You can add a main product image, as well as gallery images. The main image will be displayed in the product page as the featured image, and the images you upload in the gallery section will be displayed below. Finally, you can get to the publish panel. Here an important aspect to consider is the catalog visibility. You can define where all to show this product. The options are to make it visible on shop page as well as search results, only on shop page, only on search results, or hidden everywhere. Choose as per your strategy. Lastly, you can choose whether to make this product featured. A featured product will be promoted with more emphasis on your different pages. If everything is configured correctly, you can publish the product. Your customers will be able to purchase it from your store.
A group product is a collection of multiple child products. You can create the group product and add the simple products to be part of the collection. While creating a group product, you have to select group product as the product type from the drop down. Then in the link products section, you can specify the simple products that will be part of the group. If you are creating a virtual product, you can simply select the product type and then enable the virtual checkbox. When you enable this, shipping settings will not be applicable to the product. Downloadable products can be created by enabling the checkbox as well. When you enable this, a few more settings appear in the general section of product data meta box. The first one will be to specify the file path for download. You can also set a limit to the number of times a file can be re-downloaded, as well as the number of days before the link expires. You can also create affiliate products on your store. Choose external slash affiliate product from the drop down. Then, specify an external URL that will redirect customers to the product. Here you can also customize the button text. Variable products are a complex product type that you can create in WooCommerce. Based on attributes and their values, you can create multiple variations of the same product. Each of these variations will have its own SKU, price, and stock levels. Please let us know in the comments if you want us to create a dedicated video to demonstrate the process of creating a variable product. Once you create a product, you can access it on the WordPress admin by navigating to Products, All Products. By hovering around the product name, you will find options to view, edit, duplicate, or delete the product. Hopefully, this video has helped you get a basic understanding on adding products on WooCommerce. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. If you have any ideas, suggestions, and topics to cover related to WordPress and WooCommerce, do let us know in the comments section.